sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill it's khaki I hope everybody is doing great today I want to talk about how to deal with food pushers food pushers what are they food pushers are people who offer you food and then won't take no for an answer pressure you uh, demean you to try to get you to accept food that you've said no to you know it's not the grandma who says would you like a piece of pie and then when you say no, takes it okay. These are people who are persistent, and they they take a lot of a lot of um, thought sometimes in how to deal with that. So let's talk about it. So why do food pushers do what they do? I think the biggest thing is ignorance. People truly don't understand what you can and cannot or choose not to eat. They just don't understand. They'll offer you ice cream. You know, it's 4th of July. We've got homemade ice cream. Would you like some? No, thank you. Oh, come on. It's only once a year. Well, you know that that ice cream is going to make you feel sick or you're going to regret eating it. The person who is offering it to you and then trying to encourage you to take it may not understand that. Another thing that I find that a lot of food pushing comes from is tradition. Kind of going back to what I said a minute ago, 4th of July ice cream, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving, Christmas candy. Those are the things that become kind of meaningful in families and when you don't partake in it people kind of see it as rocking the boat people may say will you always eat the Christmas candy that I bring come on it's just once a year here again that it's just once a year another type of food pusher that I see is people who need self-validation if you meaning the person who is pushing the food on you chooses to eat in an unhealthy way or to gorge themselves when you go out to eat or at a function and you the weight loss surgery patient does not that may make that person feel bad about their own choices or get defensive about their own choices kind of goes back to that old saying misery loves company and by you making healthy choices and them not, that makes them feel bad and reflect upon themselves. Another thing that I have found that really makes food pushers do what they do is fear. If you have a relationship with a friend, with a significant other, with a family member that has always included a certain type of food, and all of a sudden in their mind you don't partake in that they worry about where that relationship is for example if you have a best friend that every friday you always met at happy hour for hors d'oeuvres or appetizers and drinks and all of a sudden you say i really don't want to do that anymore can we go bowling instead or i'm not go i'll meet you there but I'll just have one glass of wine. It makes them worried about where that relationship is going. Are you still Are you still whatever your role is to them? I see this a lot in couples. I have I have a I have a patient who talked about her husband that there was a certain restaurant that didn't have a lot of healthy food choices that was their place and they had a lot of great memories there well it's not a place that she really can go and enjoy anymore and the husband thinks that's a reflection on their relationship instead of him saying well where else could we go to spend quality time together 
he became very much somebody who pressured her into going and eat those things that she had chosen not to eat anymore. Another thing that I see is um, sabotage. I think this is probably the rarest type of food pusher, but there are certainly people who don't want to see other people succeed, who will go out of their way to make you fail. Not make you, but want you to fail. They may not want to be the not skinniest person in the room anymore, and they're afraid that you are going to get the attention that they have always gotten. Or they just get a perverse joy out of seeing somebody not do well. So I think, like I said, that is the rarest of food pusher, but they certainly are out there. So what do we do? How do we handle this? I always myself, and I tell my patients to start with a very nice, no thank you, end of story. For 90% of people who offer you food, you saying, no thank you, is enough. The A, food, a true food pusher, though, won't stop there. They're going to initiate those things that we talked about earlier. So, where you go from there really depends on you. If it is, if you have not shared the fact that you've had weight loss surgery and you are comfortable doing so with whoever this person is, this might be the time to educate them, to say, I've had a surgery to help me get healthier and those type of things are things I don't eat anymore or I am not eating right now. If that's something that you don't feel comfortable with, you need to know you don't have to justify any of your food choices. You don't have to defend them. You don't have to explain them. It's your body and what you choose to put in it is your choice. End of story. I think that some helpful phrases that I have used before is, I think always leave with, lead with a positive. Wow, somebody offers you cake. Wow, that looks fabulous. Oh my gosh, but I'm going to have to say no. So you're not making them feel like you're saying no because it doesn't look good. A lot of times that will do the trick. Another thing that I have said before is, oh gosh, I'll take some of that home. I can't eat it right now. And I'll either take it home to my husband or I will give it to one of my uh, co-workers or I'll throw it in the garbage. But if that is what it takes to get that person to take no for an answer right then, go for it. Another thing that I say a lot is, oh gosh, no, if I eat that, I won't feel well. It's the truth. If you dump or not, if you eat something that you had planned on not eating, you're not going to feel well, whether it be mentally or physically. Saying, no thank you, if I eat that, I won't feel well. That person is a real butt if they keep pushing you after you've said that. To me, that's kind of like if you know somebody is an insulin-dependent diabetic and you're pushing them to eat sugar. If you say to somebody, if I eat that, I won't feel well, and they keep pushing. I think that says a lot about the person. Another thing that you can say is, oh, gosh, I am stuffed. I cannot eat another bite. It's true. Most of the time, we have very small capacity, especially at first, and we can eat another bite. But just remember, you do not have to defend your choices. Saying no, saying no politely, offering a little more information if you're comfortable doing so is okay. But you don't have to justify what you eat to anybody. If somebody makes you feel uncomfortable or won't take no for an answer and the situation becomes unpleasant, take yourself out of it. And remember that and avoid that situation in the future. If Aunt Sally's house becomes hell 
because everybody pushes you to eat a big plate of spaghetti, maybe you don't need to go to Aunt Sally's house. I know that's a harsh thing, but you've got to really defend your health at this point. Something that I find really helpful is practice, practice saying no. Practice different scenarios with a trusted friend, with your therapist, with your spouse. Role play. Have your significant other, your friend, say those things that commonly are said to you and practice what you'll say in response. I think going in with some practice and some tools helps alleviate stress. Another thing that I have done is plan to do other things while people are eating. I remember my very first Christmas after weight loss surgery. I didn't think my family was going to push me to eat anything, but I didn't want to draw attention to myself by not eating. So while everybody was eating dessert, for example, I helped out at the kids' table. I refilled people's drinks so that I was busy and not sitting there, not eating. So what are your strategies? What do you do when people are food pushers? How do you answer? Are you comfortable sharing your journey with them? Or what other things have you said? What are your experiences been? What are the situations where people do become food pushers? I would love to hear from everybody. I'm going to do another video uh, soon that has been requested on the flip side of this topic, the food police. So be on the watch out for that. I would love to hear, what would you like to hear me talk about? Are there any subjects that you want to hear discussed? I want to talk about what you want to hear. I hope everybody has a great week. And for those of you in the U.S., happy 4th of July. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.